Ho 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 YouTube, it's almost Christmas time. That means holiday shopping. Uh, if you're like my mom, you started back in July. So right now I've got five gift ideas for the DIYer all under $100. Merry Christmas, you two. I'm back. Let's get started with number five. Bench cookies. Look, what are they? They're like these little three inch diameter pucks, and they kind of have this tacky foam on the top and the bottom, and they enable you to elevate whatever you're working on off your workbench or off your work platform to route, to sand, to paint, and they sort of, because they're tacky, they hold it in place. I use them all the time. Normally, they're used in sets of four, sometimes used in sets of two. Uh, would recommend that if you're going to buy more than four, buy the same brand because uh, the varying heights, uh, you know, Bench Dog, Rockler, they all do the same thing, but they have slight variations in height. You don't want your kind of workpiece to be like, you know, like this. So if you buy more than four, because they usually come in a set of four, buy the same brand. Number four, the combination square. I use it all the time, a lot more than my rigid square. It's basically a square on a slide ruler. So you can use it to copy depths by moving the slide. You can measure something and then quickly turn it 90, turn it 45 degrees, and scribe a cut line. It's indispensable. Number three, the Craig R3 pocket hole jig. Pocket holes are sort of these semi-flush, semi-parallel, maybe 10 degree angle holes that you used to quickly kind of fasten two pieces of wood together without like a big protruding bolt or screw head. Um, they're really great, great for assembling things in corners, anything you want to be able to possibly fill or places you want to have non-visible holes. Um, especially good when you don't feel like waiting for something to glue up and clamp and wait. It allows you to kind of quickly keep going. So I use it all the time. One of the things that after I purchased it, it made me like wonder like, hey, like, how do I ever do without this thing? So, Number two, the Random Orbit Sander. Um, you can't do without them. I use one from Makita. It's a variable speed tool. It's got a handle on it. It's sort of one of the tools you want to kind of buy the best on, at least, at least I did. It's one of the tools that gets used all the time along with my drill, along with my driver, along with my router. And uh, any of the good manufacturers, Makita, DeWalt, Milwaukee, um, they'll all produce a good product. Um, it's massively versatile. You can go anywhere from high speed stock removal with some 36 grit 5 inch discs all the way to, to fine polishing. I've, I have some 2000 grit discs that I use with it. Um, it doesn't take off stock like a belt sander, but the sheer breadth of things that you can use it for is sort of unrivaled in the sander space, so um, versatility-wise, you can't beat a random orbit sander. Um, number one, the Colt Palm Router, or Trim Router. Um, it's a small router, it's smaller than a full-size unit, it's a lot more manageable, but it does perfectly well for doing things like flush trimming or routing an edge. I probably wouldn't be you know, grooving out like a big data with it, but I don't do that much anyway and use the table saw for it. So there's really not a time that I ever don't use my my Bosch Colt router. In fact, I like it so much I actually have two of them because I sometimes use it so frequently that I just don't want to sit there and swap bits back and forth. And they come in just under a hundred dollars and it's something that's absolutely indispensable to, to any DIY work, wood shop. So so there it is, there's my five things I could not do without in my shop that are all under $100. If you have a friend, relative you're shopping for and they're just kind of getting going, they have some of the basics but are looking to step it up above putting together IKEA furniture, I think they'd be happy with any of these and they'll all look great under the tree without breaking the bank. Oh. And I almost forgot to mention, if you are going to purchase any of these, please consider doing so on Amazon. Links are below in the description. 